Hey, I know it's been a while. It's me. Let's make a comic. I've almost finished a comic page. Let me show you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through my process for making the panel, panel, panels, and the comic page. Uh, and yeah, I, and then we're gonna ink this. We're gonna make it all nice and look good -y. So yeah, let's go. So this is the page so far, just to give you some context. It's this skeleton girl called Teak, and she's bored. So she, she, she only has half a body, by the way. Um, and she goes to the skate park and does some awesome tricks. And then she meets this guy called Jake, who is a fly person. And yeah, I'm not sure what to do in the last panel. I'm thinking maybe like it's a big landscape shot of the skate park and they're like sitting on one of the railings and um, Jake says, where did you learn those awesome skateboard skills? And I don't know what Tig will say, but anyway, I just thought it'd be nice to end the strip with just a big shot of the skate park in the last panel. So yeah, I'm going to start sketching that in pencil and then I'll ink the whole page. What I mean by ink is draw over the pencils with pen and then erase the pencil and it looks all nice. Okay, so, uh, this is what I've done so far for the skate park. I've done a big ramp over here, a skate ball, like a rail thingy, and a bunch more ramps, a couple of people um, having fun on the skate park, I don't know. Yeah, now I'm going to move on to some background elements, and then draw the two, uh, main characters in the foreground and yeah okay so I've done some flames in the background and some clouds for atmosphere this comic is set in hell um so that's why the flames or just like the afterlife um you yeah, just gotta add the sun and then the characters and the foreground stuff and then I move on to word balloons and things. Now I'm just doing the shadows and all of the stuff to just because now I've worked out the light source where it is in the sky. I can go ahead and add in all the shading. I've added some highlights and like some glints on the ramps to show that they're metal. I don't know why they're metal, I just thought that'd be cool. Yeah. Again, another little highlight on the rail just to show that it's metal, it's reflecting the sunlight. Yeah. Alright. So, I've roughed in the two main characters and I'm just 
raising a little bit of the background around them. I know this, this might seem a little weird at first, but it just sort of makes them stand out a bit more. Mm. Again, you can also do this in the inking. Wait, no. Not again. I know I did this before. You can also do this in the inking stage. You don't have to do it now. If you're making your own comic. Yeah. <sighs> now on to the inking stage. Get some pens of your choosing. I personally really like to use brush pens and fine liners for like panel borders and lettering. I didn't show you me doing the lettering because it's not that interesting. Just the main rule with lettering is draw the draw the letters first, draw the let draw the words first, and then um, draw the speech balloons around them. And also, when you draw stuff, leave leave space for where the word balloons are going to be. So yeah. Um, if you're wondering what brush pens I'm using, I'm using the ones from Unipin Fine Line. Anyway, they look like this. Yeah, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to go in with my Posca pen and use a ruler and do the panel borders. So that should be fun-ish, I guess. Yeah. If you're using a Posca pen like I am, one of these, um, you might want to wait a couple of seconds for the ink to dry uh, on the on the paper because I don't know. You just you just will. It's hard to explain. Okay, done one row. Alright. Sorry if my voice is a little weird and I'm saying like a lot of ums and ahs and errs. Yeah, I just really need more sleep and I'm quite un dehydrated. Another row done, only one more to go. The last line. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. I have done my panel borders. Yay. Okay. We're thinking why I really like brush pens. Um, is because, well, like, you probably already know this if you know what brush pens are, but like, you can get different thicknesses of the line. Kind of in the name works like a brush, but yeah, it's 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 really nice to use and it feels really good to use unless the pen's designed badly. But yeah, it's just really smooth. Also, it has the ability I find. Um, these are all just my opinions, but it, I find it has the ability to bring a lot more clarity to my illustrations than the fi like a fine liner would. Sorry, I realized my page was in the long spot. Yeah. Ah. All right, for Tig's smaller bones. Oh, wait, I forgot to do a hair. Just give me a second. For her smaller bones, I'm gonna use a fine liner, a very thin one, just so I can get a nice consistent line weight to do the details. Oh, this one's not working very well. <coughs> this is a good type of fine liner, it's like I don't know what it's called, but 
Anyway, you can you can find it anyway. Uh, like Officeworks probably. And it's really it's really nice if you want that consistent line weight and to do a lot of detail. Yeah. I'm drawing this weird. I don't know what it is. It's some sort of plasma thing around the character in just the first panel to give a bit of emphasis because this is introducing the character this first panel so just giving emphasis on the character hmm. okay i will see you in a, a little bit sorry for the mess um i'll see you in a little bit once i've done Inking the entire page. Um. Yeah. Bye. Hello. 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 I recorded this before, and the microphone didn't pick it up very well, so I'm talking really loud now. Ah. Uh, it took me quite a while, but I finished inking my comic and I'm really happy with it. I did a lot of like cross hatching type stuff as a shading technique up here. It's so fun to do that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm really proud of this comic page. Um, I hope if you were following along making your own comic or if you were looking for tips to make your own comic, I hope it turned out great or it will. Um, <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic day or evening or whatever time of everywhere you are. Um, goodbye.